Welcome to part 8 of Space Rocks, the Godot Engine game tutorial where we're making a full asteroid style game. This time we're going to do a little more work on the HUD, adding a pop-up message for announcing level transitions and things like that. And we're also going to script a simple pause function. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to start off, I've done a little cleanup and reorganized the code a little bit from last time uh, when we added the HUD. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm getting rid of in main this uh, show HUD shield function. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm also getting rid of the individual components of the HUD. And I'm just turning this into a HUD.update function so that the main doesn't have to know anything about how the HUD is organized or anything. It just is going to tell it to, to update and pass it the player object with all of its you know, shield level and all that kind of stuff. And so that way I can, on the script for the HUD, is where I've moved all this stuff. So in the HUD's update function, I update the shield, which is the code we had before about picking the level and setting the, the length of the bar and the color and setting the, the score on the score label. So everything still works exactly the same, right? It still looks fine. We just are a little bit more organized now. You see everything works the same. And I just want to give a quick shout out to F Your Tube uh, in the comments on the previous video. Uh, he made this suggestion and I think it's a really good one and it's going to make it a lot more flexible down the road as we add more features to the HUD. All right, so let's move on. All right, on this HUD, we're going to add another label. And this label is going to be called message. And what this is going to be for is any announcements we need to make, like level transitions, game over, anything like that. So what we've done is just set the font of the message the same as we did on the score and we've set the align to make it fill the whole screen so that however big a chunk of text we send to it, it's just going to always be centered at the middle. So we just set the anchors to the beginnings and ends and the margins to zero. And that will be that. And then in the code, we're just going to set this to show and hide different messages. A message timer here, and I'm going to set the wait time to three seconds. It's going to be a one shot, so it just stops when it reaches the end, and it's not going to auto start. And we're going to take its timeout method and connect that. And when the message timer times out, we're just going to say get node message, um, and we're going to hide it. And for starting a message, we're just going to have a function called show message and you pass in you pass in some text. And what that's going to do is uh, on the message node, we're going to set the text to whatever that was. We're going to make sure we show it. and we're going to start the message timer. Okay, so in our main, in our ready, we're going to call a new function called begin, begin next level. And every time we want to start a new level, this is what we're going to do. And what this function is going to do is it's going to increment the level. So we're going to move that up here. And then we're also going to issue a message. So that's hud.show message. And the message we're going to say is just wave whatever level we're on. So we're just going to do percent global level. And then on that next wave, we are going to move this stuff up too because we want to spawn the 
new asteroids. And in the process, when we detect that we have no more asteroids left, we will begin next level. And now we get this nice message when we run the program. We're on level one. And if I fast forward here, Now you see we get wave two. So this is a really nice way to do message pop-ups and things that you want to display on top of your your game screen. Just using the the basic Godot GUI nodes. So the other thing we want to do is in this video is we're going to add a pause function. So in our global, we're going to make a variable called paused. It's going to keep track of our pause state. And in the HUD, we're going to process input. And I've already added here the, the pause toggle input event, which I've set in the input map to be the P key. And that's just going to toggle that Boolean variable from false to true. And so now we want the game to pause, but we also want to be able to see on the screen that we're paused. So we're going to add a node for that. So we're going to add a panel node. This is going to be the pause pop-up. And then inside of that, we're going to put a label. And that's going to just hold the pause, uh, the text that we're going to show on the screen. And the reason we're using this label is if we make it full screen, is you can see it, it has a dark background. So if we take the opacity and we crank that down a bit, it'll give us a nice gray dimming effect. And then the pause text we're going to center on the screen. So I've gone ahead and done all the font setting and centering it and everything, just so you can see what it looks like. So just by hiding and showing this pause pop-up is how we'll be able to show the state of the game. How do we actually pause gameplay? Well, there's a command called get tree, and what this does is it gets the root of the game. For example, when our main scene is running, the root of the tree is, is the parent of main. And so we want to use the method in that called set pause. And what we want to set it to is global.paused. So we want to set that to true or false. And if you've noticed on any of your nodes that you click on, down at the bottom, under the node object, is a property called pause mode. And it can be set to inherit, stop, or process. And by default, all the modes are going to be set to inherit. And But this lets you choose what you want each node to do when pausing is set to true. And your options are that you can have it stop or you can have it process. Stop means it should freeze like you would expect pause to do to a moving character or something. Process means keep going, ignore the fact that we're paused, which is how you would let certain animations or things keep happening while you're paused. So if we leave everything on inherit, what inherit means is do whatever your parent is set to do. So if we go over to our main node, and in the main, we set it to stop, then everything underneath it is going to stop as well when we set pause. So now we can go back to our script here and we've set paused. And now we can also set, we can also get node and we'll get the pause pop up. And we're going to set hidden. And we're going to set hidden to the opposite of whatever global.paused is. Because if pause is true, we want set hidden to be false. And now if we run this, we're going to see a problem, or actually we're going to see two problems actually. So I've hit the pause button, and now you can see that it's gotten dim and the pause message is showing, but wave one was still under there, and that makes it really hard to read. So we need to hide any message that's showing while we're paused. The other problem is I can't unpause it. I'm pressing P and it won't resume, and that's because our HUD 
is inheriting from main and it's stopping. Well, if it's stopping, it's not processing input. So we're not able to unpause. So we need to do two things here. We need to take the HUD and set it to process. Right? We don't want the HUD to stop processing input. The other thing we want to do is we want to get the message node and we want to set it to hidden when we're paused. And now you might expect if you do something like this that you're on the right track, but watch what happens now. So I'm going to pause it. Wave 1 disappears. And now I've specifically waited for three seconds to go by. And when I unpause it, wave one comes back. And it is never going to go away. Right? That's not what we want because what happened was we paused the game, but our message timer kept ticking. So we need that to stop when the game is paused. That way when we if we pause it while a message is up. When we resume, the remaining amount of time will be there and it'll disappear when it's supposed to.